Either way, both players are ready for the grand final. This should be an amazing final. It's very possible that this will be a final for the ages. He needs to do something with this first little push that he's going for, Nate. He has two tanks, but of course, you know, that command center, that orbital is already uh, ready for Bomber. I have a hard time imagining that Bomber is going to be able to defend it on the low ground. Of course, he doesn't want to get contained either, but uh, what do you do right now if you're Bomber? I feel that Bomber is going to be slightly surprised. Bomber has not hey, scouted at all. If Bomber Bombers me, you just lose. This is a very strong attack from Pult that is almost geared 100% to counter the build that Bomber has chosen. And these two Marines up front are an excellent bait to the Widow oh, Mine man. that was out. I don't even know where that Widow Mine went, but this is just a really rough spot because he's got Viking count lead. He has tanks. There's no cloak. He doesn't need to scan this natural command center. Bomber, you need to get that the hell out of there. It's These two die. tanks are going to destroy everything you have. And suddenly, Pult takes a commanding position. He kills his natural expansion. Wow. How often do you see that, Nate? That the first unit in the game is the orbital command. You know? <laughs> that doesn't happen every day. Yep, uh, this one tank is pretty much all that Bomber has going for himself. But the thing is, Paul doesn't even need to issue to push the issue any further. He's already happy with what he has done. He has three tanks, he has a contain in TVT, which is always massive. And above all, on the other side of the map, you know, we can see another command center go down. It's not like he pulled SUVs and he has to win right here, right now. He did what he was looking for, and that is kill that orbital command, or at least force it to lift up. But it was the best case scenario, he killed it. Pult did move one tank closer to the left side, so he actually can defend this mineral line position. Oh, he's, he's on sieging. Oh, this, no, both are, this is awkward. There are a lot of Marines over here, though, for Bomber. Most of the Marines from Pult are out of position. Oh, he's Stim, pick up oh the my siege God. tanks. Runs in one, two, three, kill. Auto turns being dropped no. by Bomber. Picks up almost all the tanks of Pult. And that wow. combat kill after a fantastic early push by Pult. Bomber has him reeling on the ropes. And this natural expansion of Pult is just about forfeit. One lone siege tank to defend. That couldn't have gone any better for Bomber. He's trying to hang in there, but indeed there are still so many Marines and this tank is still here as well for Bomber. There are still three medevacs as well, plenty of energy left. Another stim, there are just a few too many Marines I feel. Bolt is forced to pull his SOVs and that's never a good sign. GG. Wow, Bomber wins a very uh, unorthodox game one, I would say, on Overgrove. This is a push that can des definitely catch uh, Pult off guard as well. He's kind of transitioning. This Banshee is going to fly straight over these Marines. Will oh, he stay? No, oh, no! He doesn't cloak! He picks it off! And I I am at, I am not sure what to make of this game anymore. Uh, this looks At least he knows, though, Nate. At least he knows. He can pull those Marines that he had in the main. He can pull them back to the natural. The Hellions need some really juicy shots over here. Line them up. There's the stand. The combat shield's chasing for it. These Hellions not able to get good shots from the Marines yet. Moves over, but stepping back is Bomber. Oh. Picks up all the forces here for Pulse. Moving into it. the natural. Another stand. GG. Bomber wow. off 2 0 in our grand final. So many Hellbats on that ramp, his only option is to try to force a base trade. There's not much home at back at home for Bomber. Not at all. Those tanks are targetable from the low ground, so Pult has a chance to force this game into a very weird spot as uh, Bomber continues to step forward. These Hellbats, not particularly effective without tank support, but using the medevacs to get on top is also a nice uh, touch. I love this counterattack by Paul. That seems very, very brilliant. He will have high ground vision as well because of these medevacs. And suddenly, Bomber is in a whole lot of trouble. He's down 20, 30, 40 army supply already. And all of these buy units in his main base, I have no idea how he's ever supposed to clean that up. He can't. Bomber needs to get on top of Pult's production, but I think that the, uh, I think Captain America's got a little bit too much macro going. Bomber says, GG. The Viking spots the army now as well. That is a great scout for uh, Pult. Pult immediately throws down all of his units. This tank is in a very good position. The Viking is going to land as well. Two Vikings, bunch of SOVs being pulled. But this also means that this bench is going to stay alive for a while. This looks like a very intimidating early game push by Bomber. Yeah, Bomber is bringing the same level of pressure we saw Pult bring to his base on overgrowth. Very smart that he prioritizes that. The orbital is taking a lot of damage. Pult is repairing it, but tanks are getting closer and closer. The marine count is still in favor of Bomber as well. Another scan goes down. The Banshee will get picked off. However, there are still these tanks to worry about. Maybe the tank over here on the high ground would have been there's, good. There's another duh, Banshee, duh, and he needs, oh, he needs duh, to use another scan. He's going to kill the siege tank of Pult. Oh, he gets it. That and might be now, it. Bomber's tanks. This 
could be it. He could be looking to take the grand finals with this very push. Well, Red Bull's bomber came to Atlanta with, of course, only one mission. He wanted to win this tournament. He wanted to make his sponsor proud. He took out the orbital. It wasn't an easy journey. Violet pushed him to the limit. Paul pushed him to the limit. But in the end, bomber will win the Battlegrounds Atlanta. GG. Ladies and gentlemen, your champion is Red Bull Bomber!